Hi everyone, this is TechnoX and for a change of scenery and paste I have decided to dissect this DC converter for you all to see and then try and explain what's going on. Now, there's a story behind this. This DC converter is now dead. I woke up this morning and my computer was no longer running and uh, I saw that there was no power going to the jack even though this was plugged in. I had started up the computer and it was all acting all blah. The, the fan was not working very good but uh, now it works great. I think it's because that the charge on the battery of the computer ran out. Uh, interesting tidbit, I think the fan was actually connected to the battery and not to the power source. I'm going to try and pry this apart. It's going to be difficult because these guys like to hold their devices tight. They don't like people prying inside. So we're going to try and get this apart with a screwdriver. There we go. Something's starting to give you. Okay, nice. We may be getting some progress here. Lovely. Oh man. So this is held out. This is held together by tape. It looks like two pieces of tape. Interesting. You can start to see the insides of this thing now already. It's like sort of like gutting a fish. Almost. Since this is already broken, you break off whatever piece we want. And this is it. So, just for reference sake, this is... This right here is the plug side where you plug it into the your regular outlet. This side here is the side that supplies the voltage to your computer. Let's see if I can get this further. There we go. Alright, so the first stop that the electricity makes when uh, converting AC to DC is the transformer. You see these uh, every day in boxes on power lines. Now all you need to know about transformers is that they step up voltages and they step down voltages depending on what end the source is and the sink is. So if you have a source that converts voltages to higher voltages then it's a step up transformer. If the transformer converts to lower voltages at the sink then it's called a step down transformer. Now this is definitely a step down transformer. What we're trying to achieve here is to get a 120 volt source into something that's smaller and more usable for this DC conversion. Once the voltage is stepped down then it will go through a configuration of diodes called a rectifier. There are two types of rectifiers that I know about. There are half wave rectifiers and there are full wave rectifiers. 
And we know that this is a half wave rectifier because there are only two diodes in this configuration. Half wave rectifiers only allow the positive voltages uh, of an AC source to pass through. If it were a full wave rectifier, there would be an extra two diodes in this configuration that would convert the negative voltages into a positive voltage. This is good because we need positive voltage to feed our computer or whatever device we have connected to this end of the transformer. But once we have this, we still need to smooth it over and this is where the capacitor comes in. The capacitor smooths out the voltage so it looks like a straight line instead of hills that go up and down. Now this is the basic end of the DC converter. Once you reach here, the voltage will look like a straight line and hence the DC conversion. A lot of this extra stuff here has to do with the resistance of this device to EM emissions. And when I say EM emissions, I'm talking about radio sources like your Wi-Fi router, airplane traffic, noise from the sun, all of that stuff needs to be resisted by this device so it can accurately supply power to your computer. And so to be able to do that, all this elect extra electronic stuff most likely has to do with the resistance of the introduction of noise. So right at this moment, I cannot tell you what's wrong with this device because I don't see any burn marks. I'm going to say that it failed and there's not really much that I can do right now, but uh, I hope you like this little session of me taking apart stuff. I am going to go wash my hands now because they are sticky and gross because they got epoxy all over them. And I will see you later. All right, bye.